Hey, I'm Johnimus Prime, and on this review, I thought we could take a look at Generation Select's Star Convoy. And look at that! It's also in a fancy box. And yes, I was duped. This is not a fancy box. It's a box with a sleeve on it, but yeah. Like all the other Generation Selects, comes with that brown box, but at least this one's slightly different. And what's kind of funny is my figure actually came with two instructions. So yeah, that was actually kind of weird. I never had that happen to me before, but yeah, that is the box that came in. So not a fancy box, just slightly different. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and put that back on there and yeah so let's go ahead and get back with the figure and here is star convoy in his alt mode now go ahead and give you a heads up this figure here actually has decals on the trailer all of this is decal stickers and i'm going ahead and tell you i'm not really used to putting decals on my figures only some, but these, trying to get everything lined up perfectly on both sides, nerve-wracking. Just going to go ahead and say it. I tried my best and everything, but yeah. So yeah, there is his uh, alt mode, his class, you know, a familiar Optimus Prime with the trailer and everything. But yeah, those decals are very, very shiny and everything, but yeah. That is, this is his alt mode, and yes, the wheels do roll very nicely, as you can tell. And he can turn a little bit, but it is limited and everything. But yeah, uh, let's get more close up onto the details. So let's go ahead and look at the figure. And the one thing I don't like about the mode they use for this one is there's no stand. So you take the trail off, and yeah. Unlike, uh, Earthrise Ultimate Prime actually came down with a stand and everything, but yeah, that doesn't. That's the one thing that kind of bugs me a bit. But oh well. Now let's look at this figure. And yes, he's got clear windows here, so you can actually see the matrix of leadership there and everything. But yeah, some nice little details there. You got the yellow and the silver and some of the ribbits, paints, and everything, and the bumper. But they did paint this window blue, which was kind of nice. You got, you got the mirrors here painted and the fake smoke sacks there. But the back, yeah, you can see a lot of robot kibble. Even the uh, where it attached to the trailer, that's the uh, head. So, yeah. Nice little, there is quite a bit of nice details on here everything bottom not much but most of the robot cable is back here and you can kind of see the other big old star convoys head back there as well but yeah and everything this side here likes to pop out doesn't want to quite wind up very nice on my copy but it's all right i'm not going to have it in this mode anyways but yeah that is his truck form. And he has a robot form because he turns to Optimus in the, with the trailer star convoy. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and get that more out of the way. And everything. And let's go ahead and get this guy transformed in three, two, one. And there we go. We got him all transformed and everything. And yes. It, this mode of Optimus is actually quite different than what we're used to for Optimus. So let's look at all the details. Oh, let me raise my camera up because you can't quite see very well. And here we go. Let's. As you can see, he doesn't. He has the uh, smoke sacks on his shoulders, but they're a little further back than the traditional Optimus Prime. He does have a different head scope with the yellow eyes and silver mouth plate i mean it's optimus but it's slightly different he's got like little grooves in his face face mouth guard right there 
the chest is quite different than our traditional Optimus Prime. He still has the grill ab there. The yellow around his hips. And the blue legs with the silver. And everything. Oh no, it doesn't look all that bad. But the more the years you get to the back and you already see the issue. Yep. You can already see the bigger figure and everything. But yeah. If you don't really look from the back and have it in this mode, it's not that bad. And posability on this guy here. He has a ball jointed neck with its limited due to because he has the trailer hitch behind his head. <laughs> so yeah, you get some movement in his head. His shoulders are on the ball joint, so you get full rotation around. And he can't really raise up any high higher than that so tree pose is not all that great on there he does have a swivel around the bicep area and he does have a double bent elbow so yeah you could that's some posability there and due to the transformation the wrist can only go like that so no swivel uh no waist articulation due to how it's transformed the hip skirts here are actually attached to his hips so he can actually kick that far forward and that far back due to all the kibble in his back and cannot quite do the whole van dam but you can make it have a nice high kick there uh the hip the butt the hips are kind of on a swivel here but are also they're on a ball joint too as you can see there so even though these can't move out of the way he does get a little bit pulsability there he got a little bit of wiggle waggle and stuff he does have a thigh rotation up here and about a 90 degree bend at the knee and his toes can only move up that much and all the way down due to transformation but there's no ankle uh, articulation really just the toes and the heels do are just molded in there so you can't really do anything like that so this figures is very limited on pulsability but you could get some pulsability on him and everything and yes if we take his trailer here you can open this up and take out his ion blaster and special gimmick about this one is it can come apart so you can have a little blaster in one hand and i like to think this is some form of grenade launcher so yeah you can have him hold both in his hands so you can blast some decepticons but yeah this guy's not all that bad it's not great due to limit posability and everything but yeah it's all right so let's go ahead and get his trailer in here because now the next mode we're gonna need the trailer and might have to back up the camera a little bit too because this guy is pretty big so yeah let's go ahead and get these guy these two combined and three two one and here we have his z base mode that's what it's called i don't not for sure why and everything but yeah that's what it's called and he has his kind of base mode and everything which basically looks like he's just doing the splits and has his blaster so on him so it's kind of funny a little bit um because i know the original star convoy actually had a base mode that bng one it's still better than this but yeah he's got this whole thing going so yeah i just thought i'd show it off and everything so yeah let's go ahead and get him in his uh proper robot mode in three two one and there we go we have star convoy in his full transformation 
and yeah it's not a bad figure and everything even though they've used the same mold for a couple of times with optimus orion pax and nemesis but i do like how they retooled him and everything so let's get a more close look on here let me raise my camera up a bit this guy is pretty big so yeah we'll, we'll start with the head he's got that nice chrome not sure what you call it really it's on his forehead and he's got the mouth plate and he has blue eyes in this mode compared to the yellow eyes in his small his smaller mode and he's got some detail on the windows there and he's got that bright gold cross on his chest nice detail on the autobot symbols with the yellow and he's got these cannons on his shoulder which yes they are posable even though i didn't show them in the base but these are posable and everything and you can see his around his waist right there they got the truck headlights and the grill and now he's wearing black around the waist got some nice yellow detail on the kneecaps there and the blue with black feet and you can see some of that trailer on his arms and they all folded up and there's the robot on his back which at least these legs look nice they actually look like something and compared to the other figures oh yeah not that bad and yes he still has the same gimmick as an optimist should have down a bit and you just kind of pop this open open these windows here and the other windows if I get my fingernail in there sometimes I don't want to work There you go. Oop. At least this one's not very tiny to lose and it's bright. But yeah, he's got a very chromed out Matrix of Leadership. Now this is a totally different Matrix than we're normally used to see with the blue and the kind of like copper orange and everything. But yeah, and this Matrix also has a special gimmick as well. Not only does it go in the chest, but if we close all that back up, make sure everything's lined or that thing's not going to stay. Stay? Okay. You can take his ion blaster here. Very and actually put it together. So now he can literally use the Matrix of the Leadership as a weapon. Or, if you want, you can... Have it in a, in a thin, like that, and he does have ports on the sides here, so you can put it up there as well. And no ports around the legs or anything, but yeah, he's got that whole gimmick. You just combine this together, and now he's got the uh, matrix of leadership. I'm not going to edit that out. Yeah. Light our darkest hour and vanquish our enemies. I don't know. That's what first thing came to my head. But yeah. That's a kind of little fun, silly gimmick they have here. And everything. And yeah, I don't know really much about Star Convoy. I know the figure. That... I don't, it could just be my copy, but yeah, that will happen a lot. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some size comparison, because I actually have not done that for a while. So, here's Soundwave with most of his guys. Still need to get the other two. He's roughly a Voyager. And Ironworks. Let's go down just a little bit so you can actually see. Which is roughly a deluxe size. And 
see who else. Oh. And we can just have punch counter punch over here. Because he's also deluxe, but you can tell the difference. So that's by roughly how big Star Convoy is. Yeah. We'll do a review on him once I get the rest of his buddies. Because in my opinion, a Soundwave review has to have all his little guys. But yeah, there's this Star Convoy. Not a bad figure and everything. It's alright, I do like the little fun gimmicks it has in it and everything, but I mostly got him because I actually have a convoy shelf. So, oh, and also, we're getting that Super Megatron. So it's going to look nice next to him. So yeah, that is Star Convoy. So what do I think of Star Convoy? It's not a bad figure, you know, it's a nice concept having a different style Optimus Prime and everything in my collection and stuff. Um, yeah, he's going to look great on the convoy shelf and all that. Um, but yeah, the decals were all right. I mean, trying to put those decals on just as straight as possible was like nerve wracking for me. <laughs> but um, if it was painted, I mean, I'd be fine with that as well. Because I know some people like to put decals and some people prefer having the paint. But all in all, it's still not a bad figure. It's going to look great on the convoy shelf and everything. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. That way you're up to date to any new videos that I upload. And yeah, as always, may your collection maximize your spark but never terrorize your wallet. We'll see you next time. Man, you are going to look so great with that new Megatron suit. Oh, I can't wait for it to come out.